Kevin. Demons and Satan have been defeated. Yes. Yes. But even though they have been defeated, demons and Satan still can attack. Let's take two armies. <laughs> Army B, no, B, and Army A. Okay. Let's say that Army A defeats Army B. Okay. Is it possible for defeated Army B to attack victorious Army A? Yes. Even though Army B is defeated, some of those people are not dead. Some of those people can still attack some people in Army A. <sighs> no matter if demons and Satan are defeated, they are still going to attack. They know that they are going to be thrown in the lake of fire. They know that they have lost, yet they are still going to attack us anyway because what do they have to lose? If I tell you, look, I am going to throw you in a lake of fire. <laughs> nothing you can do, nothing you can say is going to change my mind. So, if you know that you are going to stay in the lake of fire, and no matter how much good you do, it is not going to matter. So what are you going to do? Do as much evil as you can. Why? Because it does not matter. Because no matter what you do, <laughs> it is not going to matter. God's mind is not going to change. So they are going to do as much evil as they can. Yes, they are defeated, but they have nothing to lose. They are not chained up. All demons are not chained up. They are able to influence our lives. What do they have to lose? Now, when it comes down to the angels, yes, they have so much to lose because they get to go to heaven. So, of course, not too many angels are going to do the wrong things. Now, when it comes down to demons and Satan and stuff like that, they have nothing to lose. So, even though Army B have been defeated, hey, they have nothing to lose, per se. So they are going to attack some people in Army A. They still have the ability to fight even though they have lost. <laughs> I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.